All right, just a quick video today. I wanted to run down the numbers here on the Little Mermaid remake, which was released uh, Thursday, two days ago. It is now Saturday. It has made $38 million in the past two days, and they are projecting it to make $100 million total for the weekend, which is lower than what their estimates had been. Considering that this is a holiday weekend, it's Memorial Day weekend, and I expected it to be doing better. Uh, now, I have not seen it, but people that I know have seen it, and they tell me that it is a terrible movie, comparable to the 1989 version. It doesn't hold a candle to the 1989 version. The CGI is horrible. The acting is horrible. The singing is auto-tuned, which I thought this Halle Berry girl or Halle Bailey or whatever the hell her name is, I thought she was a good singer, but they say it's obvious that it was all done with auto-tune. Uh, they added an extra hour to the story. People said that this was so long, it was almost torturous for them to have to sit and watch. And of course, they, spoiler alert, they changed the ending. Uh, instead of Prince Eric using the ship to stab the sea witch, it is now Ariel who is on the ship and stabs the sea witch. Which, if you watch the original cartoon, Eric stabbing the sea witch basically saves King Triton and saves King Triton's daughter, which is why Triton is able to forgive the humans for all their atrocities and allow his daughter to remain a human and marry Prince Eric. Well, now she's the one that does the saving and he's just there. He's just an extra, he's there for no reason. So it kind of takes away from the whole narrative of why Triton starts to trust humans again. But that's, you know that that that's today's writers they don't they don't see those subtleties they don't they don't understand that that's what that was all about it has to be the woman that does the saving it has to be the woman it can't be the man just cannot be the man that does the saving <laughs> it's just it's it's so laughable now anyway back to the numbers here 38 million dollars on Thursday opening day preview day it made 10 million and on Friday, $38 million. Now, I want to compare this to the Super Mario Brothers movie. On its opening day, it made $31 million. And then the second day, it made 26 which is down 16%. Uh, the Little Mermaid actually made more. It made $38 million. It made more than Super Mario Brothers on its second day. However... Super Mario Brothers in its first weekend. Where are the numbers at here? Uh, in its first weekend, we could say fifth, sixth, and seventh. It made it, it was up to one hundred and thirteen million uh, because it made it, it may have only made twenty six million on its second day, but it made fifty four million on its third day, which was a gain of one hundred and six percent, and then it was. It was pretty much all good from there. I mean, it went down during the week, but then the, the following weekend, it it did a boon. It did 22, 39, and 30. And then you can see the weekdays, and then the next weekend, it, it, it kept it up. So I just wanted to compare this movie to uh, the Super Mario Brothers movie, which is pretty much the direct competition. Now, adults my age, people that, and, and uh, people a little younger than me, they're not going to like this movie. It's not made for it's not made for us. That's, I'm talking about the Little Mermaid now. It's not made for us. It's made for, uh, you know, five to to fifteen year olds, uh, girls mostly, black girls mostly. It, that that's who it's made for, and they're going to love it. They're going to eat it up. So I I'm sure this movie will do well. Because they may have not even seen the original Little Mermaid. 
And because it's live action and because of the race swapping and because of the women empowerment narrative, they're, they're just going to eat it up and they're going to love it. But if you're somebody like me who enjoyed the original, I mean, I was 18 when the original came out, uh, a little too old for Disney movies, but I sat and watched it probably with, with my girlfriend or whoever I was with at the time. And it was, it was good. And then when I had kids in the late nineties, uh, I introduced them to it and I've, I've seen it now many times. It's, it's my, one of my daughters, it's their favorite movie. They love the little mermaid, but she would hate this. She would hate this movie because of, of the changes and, uh, the CGI is, like I said, the CGI is bad. The songs are bad. Uh, there's some horrible rap from Aquafina. It's just terrible. So, I'm going to keep an eye on this for the rest of the weekend. Uh, I want to see what it does. This is a Memorial Day weekend. It's a big weekend. I don't see that it will have legs much further past this weekend because there are other things coming out. Next weekend, I believe, is the release of Transformers Rise of the Beast. And I've actually heard that it, it's, it's actually pretty good. Uh, and then uh, the week after that, there's something. And then... Uh, the Flash comes out the, the following weekend after that. And then, uh, what is it? Indiana Jones, which I've, I've called for a boycott. I don't, I don't want anyone to see that because I want to send a message to Kathleen Kennedy and Disney. I, I'm pleading for people not to go see that. But here we are. Little Mermaid, $38 million in two days. Uh, we have two more days to go in this holiday weekend. And we're going to update this on tuesday so stay tuned and we'll see how it does and if you are planning to go see it with your kids and you were a huge fan of the original just be prepared because you're not going to like this one hope you like the video please like share subscribe ring the bell for notifications and i will talk to you later